Hey YouTubers and welcome back to another episode here today on ESGN Net as we are back here for MLB 8 or excuse me MLB 17 the show and this is the Kansas City Royals franchise and we're back here with episode 115 today as we're in the second month of the season and we're about to have a uh, start a series here with the uh, Tampa Bay Rays. So the Rays uh, are going to be hosting us there for a three game set. We're going to feature game one of this series and then of course uh, send the last two. Uh, but the Rays right now uh, currently in third place right now. They're just uh, three game or just a, no excuse me a game ab uh, below 500 at 13 and 14 for the season. They're in third place right now in the division and the Rays would like to of course uh, try to have a win uh, here today as they uh, finished a series with the Blue Jays uh, just a series ago and they end up splitting that series uh, two games apiece uh, there in uh, Toronto so um, uh, we're going to try to see if we can uh, of course uh, stop the Rays uh, or, or I should say continue, have the Rays continue having a losing streak for themselves uh, and uh, we'll just uh, see what we can do here on the heel for ourselves today. Just take a look. 22 and 6 right now, first place in the, the division as we have a seven game lead over the Tigers. So we have a good set for our, our good run for ourselves there as we see the Rays there, three back there. So it's still pretty early, still, you know, still just the second month of the season. And uh, Rays still have an opportunity now to try to do something here uh, with themselves. Like I said, the Blue Jays and the Yankees right up front of them. There's the starting lineup for both squads here today. A little bit of a change. We have Omar leading off here, um, and we've been been doing some kind of some uh, new things here. Uh, we move uh, Hosmer down to fourth now, uh, and move Lynn up to third, hoping that Hosmer will get some better pitches uh, in the lineup there, as he's been on a cold streak here now for uh, for, the, for the better most of the, the first month of the season here. Hasn't been uh, too good for him. Of course, he's had a couple bright spots there, here and there. Uh, but we'll see Jeremy Hilkes in there. You see five games he's been in so far. Two game, two and zero for the season. Four point oh five ERA, nineteen strikeouts, ten walks for him for the season. He's had a pretty good year so far here, and uh, he's gonna try to see if he can continue. As for Ian Kennedy, there you see five games, three and one for so far for him. Uh, Ian Kennedy's last start uh, was in uh, Cleveland, where he it was a nail biter, one that uh, won. Uh, five to four, uh, and of course Hosmer was up to bat, uh, which uh, had the bases loaded to get a pitch to save the game there, and uh, which uh, he got that pitch and able was able to drive the winning run. As for the uh, Rays, uh, like I said, the Blue Jays they uh, split two there with them. Let's go ahead and go to the first inning here. We'll see Jennings up to bat there, and Jennings will hit this one there. That should be good enough for a double there for him, as he will trot along here and get to second base. So, not the start I'm sure Ian Kennedy is wanting to uh, start this game off here with the Rays, but hey, uh, we, we can get out of this. So uh, we'll see now, Will Meyer up to bat here. We'll see what he can do. 2-1 count for Will Meyer. He uh, takes this one and yep, he is gonna miss there on that one. That is strikeout number one now for, uh, for Ian Kennedy in this one here and it's now one away. So now, uh, Chris Davis, formerly a uh, Oriole, now with a, a divisional rival, the Rays. Oh my goodness, what's going on here? So we'll see at second base still. We'll see uh, Davis trying to move the runner over. He does move the runner over to third, but Davis will be in that uh, four to three put out there as that is going to be out number two. As we'll see, of course, a uh, long time. Uh, Devil Rays, Rays guy, uh, Evan Lagoria up to bat here. We'll see him swing and a miss there on the third baseman. And that is going to retire the side here as the Royals get out of here. Only giving up a run here in the top half of the first. It's still a nothing, nothing ball game. So we'll go to the fourth inning here. And the Royals here still have not found their first hit yet in this game so far here at this point. Omar Fonte will come up to bat here. We'll see what Omar can do here. Of course, uh, Omar's been with the ball club for a while now. And, of course, he's uh, been in Major League Baseball for quite some time now. As he is uh, kind of playing a little bit of second and short here this season. Uh, and kind of uh, helping out the ball club here. As he hits this one there, he's going to find a gap out there. That's going to 
get him a base hit, and that's going to get him on board. And that'll be the first hit of the ball game for the Royals. So finally getting a run up on the board, or I should say hit up on the board here. Hopefully that uh, that hit there will manufacture to a run. As we'll see Gordon up to bat here. Gordon, of course, having a hot bat this season, uh, this, uh, season so far here. We'll see within the 1-0 count here for Gordon. Gordon's going to pop this one here. He's going to get lifted out to center field. Easy play there. And that is going to be two or, excuse me, one away now for the Royals here in the fourth. As Adam Lynn will come up to bat here. He's 0 for 1. He struck out back in the first. We'll see what he can do here this time around as he's 0 for 2 in the count. And we'll see with a runner on board here. See if the power hitter can do something here. As he's going to, ooh, kind of Q shot that one there. That's going to get the runner at second, and he's going to be safe. At first, as he dives in there, dangerous uh, slide there. You don't want to do that there, kids. As uh, he slides there, head first there at first base. So we'll see now what Hosmer can do now here with two out, one on here. As he's 0 for 1. And like I said, he is cold as ice right now. And got a lot of people around the organization and, of course, around the city asking what is the deal with Hosmer. As he chopped, uh, chops that one there, that one an easy play there for the pitcher. Helton gets the play, makes a 1-3 put out, and that retires this side as there's no score here. Both teams have a hit apiece in this one as we go down to the bottom half of the same inning here in the fourth. We'll see Matt Joyce up to bat here, 0 for 1. We'll see what Joyce can do here in this one as we'll see a 2-2 count here for Joyce. And the deuces are wild here with two out. And we'll see here with one on there. This should be an easy play there for Hosmer. We get the ball and tag the bag. And that is going to go ahead and retire the side there as the Royals. Uh, they give up a run hit there, but there's still no score here. As now we go to the uh, top half of the fifth. So kind of some things going on here in, in this uh, middle part of the game here. As we go down to the fifth inning here, we'll see what Perez can do. As he's up to bat here, this is the first time we've seen him so far here in, this, uh, in, this, uh, in these highlights here. See what he can uh, be up to here. And he hits a base hit. That gets him on board. And that is the second hit in the game here for the Royals. As the Royals now have a runner on board here with nobody out. So up to bat next is Morocco. Morocco as he's going to be up to bat here. We'll see with the young shortstop here. Our Rule 5 player that we uh, got over uh, this past offseason. He's going to pop this one up the elevator shaft. And that's going to be an easy play. And that's going to be one away. So now Moose, who's just been the just one just a, a one man army here for us here lately. He has an 0-2 count here. He has a runner on board with one out here. Let's see what kind of magic he can bring here at the plate. Hits this one in a gap out there. That one's going to rattle around the runner. The lead runner should be coming around here to score. And it's going to make it a one to nothing ball game. Is there going to be a play at the plate here? No, there's not. And uh, Perez crosses the plate with the first run of the ball game as Moose is in line for a double here. As he gets an RBI double there for himself. Nice job there for the Royals. And the Royals get first blood here in the top half of the fifth. Nice run there from, or nice hit and run there for Moose. As that's his fifth double of the season here. And we'll see what the Royals can do here. See if they can add on to this here with 0-2 count. Got uh, Markakis up to bat here. Markakis of late here. As of late here, he's been uh, kind of doing really good for himself here. Uh, he's getting a couple hits here, just like this one right here, getting a base hit there. That runner from second is going to go ahead and advance to third. And now runners on the corners here for the Royals. As we'll see now, Johnny Peralta come up to bat here. And you see there Ned Yost looking at his team here, knowing something big is going to happen here. They've already scored one run in this one here. Can they possibly bring home another? As we'll see, uh, Petroya, uh, Johnny Peralta, excuse me, not Petroya, Peralta. He'll hit this one. That's going to be a base hit. Peralta is going to move the runner over to third, and he's going to get himself in scoring position himself as he's at second on that RBI double. Nice job there from Peralta. As we'll see here in the replay, yeah, great job there hitting that one down the line. I think that was a good trade that we made with him. And, of course, J.D., kind of, uh, you know, he's out on injury right now. But uh, once we get him back and get him rolling and get his bat right again like it was before he was injured, I think good things will be uh, happening there for us for that trade with uh, those two with uh, St. Louis. As we see now, up to bat here, uh, top of the six here, two nothing ball game here. 
We'll see Adam Lynn up to bat here. One, two count. Adam Lynn's going to get a hold of this. This one's going to go deep. This one's going to go back. And that is a home run there for the Royals. As that is Adam Lynn's eighth home run of the season. And the Royals now lead this one three to nothing here as Heltzkin is not happy about that at all. And he would like to uh, get a uh, return on that one as uh, he is not uh, going to be in favor here this game so far here now. If he does not get some help from his own ball club here in the run support. As you see here, Adam Lynn gets this one. He read that one just perfectly coming out of the hand of uh, Hellskin and able to just uh, jet that one right out of the ballpark. Go to the bottom of the seventh. We'll see here now uh, Wade Davis out here to uh, relieve pitch here. And, well, of course, he's one of our uh, longtime guys here with this ball club here. Possibly his last season here with us. As we'll see Evan Lagoria here, 0 of 2. And we'll see a strikeout here uh, back in the fourth inning. We'll see what we can do with Lagoria here. As, uh, you know, we've got to kind of keep a while on him because he does have a, a good uh, pop in that bat there. As we'll see an 0 2 count on Lagoria. Can we get a strikeout here? Nope. We're going to get the ground ball even better. And this should be a nice play there. Nice 6 to 3 put out. And that is going to be out number 1 4 the uh, Rays here as we'll see uh, what we can do now against uh, Matt Joyce here. 0 for 2 for Joyce. Seen him earlier. He struck out. We'll see what he can do here now in the 7th as we see a 0-2 count. 3 nothing. Royals still lead this one. 1 out and we'll see a pop up here. This is going to go high and deep. Can this one stay in the ballpark? It does. And that one's going to be an easy catch there from Marquecas there out in right field. And that's 2 away now for the Rays. So Rays Running out of time here as Addison Russell come up to bat. One for two. He's single back in the fifth. And we'll see what he can do now here. As we'll see a one-two count. And uh, two out here. We'll see Addison Russell here. Grounds this one there to Omar. Nice uh, four to three put out. And that is going to be your side. As the Royals still have a nice lead here. They have a three-nothing lead here as we go to the bottom half. Or I should say uh, going to the eighth inning here. Hopefully we can wrap this one up here as we go to the bottom of the eighth here. And there you see the numbers to the starters here. As Ian Kennedy, six game or six innings he worked, three hits, and five strikeouts for him. So pretty decent day there for him. Hellison on the other hand, six hits. He's given up two runs. As Samuel, Samuel Rosario, one of my favorite relievers that we have on the squad here, is going to come out here to pitch here on the hill. Six games, one save so far for him, four strikeouts. He has not given up anything here so far yet for this season. As we'll see James Aloney come up to bat here. Former Dodger now with the Rays here. We'll see what he can do here with a 0-2 count here. Rosario would like to get a strikeout here and keep this ball uh, keep get to keep this uh, ball in the ballpark there. As you see Rosario, or just say uh, Omar makes a nice routine play there. Nice 4-3 put out, and that's one away there for the Rays. So we'll see here what the Rays will get something going here. They got to get their bats rattling here. They still have another inning to go. They have the bottom of the half to try to get back in this one here. But right now they we're still in the eighth here. They still got a shot here. We'll see the next batter as it's going to be Ryan. Ryan's going to go ahead and ground this one there to Moose. Nice uh, five to three put out there, and that's two away. So now Kurt uh, Casello. Uh, We'll come up to bat here. He'll ground, or we'll see what he'll do here against Rosario here. Hopefully a ground out here as we'll see this one chop right there from the pitcher. This one should be an easy routine play. Uh, easy play there. One to three put out, and that is going to be the bottom half of the eighth. So last chances now for the Rays to do something here as we go to the bottom half of the ninth here. Desmond Jennings will, of course, lead it off here. He is the leadoff man for these guys. And we'll see. Of course, he did get the first hit in the ball game here. We can um, quite possibly maybe see him get the first run across the board here, and try to get a rally going here for the Rays here at the Trop. As we'll see, Freddie for Hardwood come up the uh, pitch here. Twelve games he's been in so far. He's had uh, ten saves now here out of twelve games here. We'll see if he can get save number eleven here in tonight's game. And he has to start off with. Jennings is here. 0-2 count. That's going to be a nice fastball there, high and away. And that is one away there on the Rays. As you take a look there, Hardwick, one of the top uh, saves leaders right now here 
in the American League and he's just four behind Tony Joy of the Angels. As we'll see Will Meyer now up to bat. One for three. Double back in the fourth. We'll see what Will Meyer can do here as the Royals right now have a three-run lead here in the bottom half of the ninth. Ray's got a lot of work to, for themselves to do here. And you'll see this one hit right down the line there. Nice stop there from Hosmer. At least defensively, he is uh, staying there like he, a uh, defensive player that we know and love him as. He is still with us there. As for the bat there, this season so far here has not been too good. We're going now to uh, the next batter here, and we'll see what uh, the Rays will do here. This one's going to sky out there to the warning track there. Does it have enough power? No, it does not. And that is going to be the final out in the game as the uh, Rays will come up short in this one here today as they get Davis to fly out there and if, uh, go ahead and get himself a nice uh, little uh, out to uh, wrap this game up here and of course that's the 11th save now for Hardwick as he and the Royals get a nice victory here today at the Trop final score 3 to nothing. So nice job there as uh, the Rays get the uh, vi or uh, get the uh, get hit with a loss there. Royals on the hand get the win. Ian Kennedy, there you see your player of the game. Six innings of work, three hits, and a five strikeouts there from him. As for Peralta, two for three for the day for him. Two R two doubles and a RBI for him. Adam Lynn, that big home run there, uh, one for four. There for him uh, back there in the sixth inning, he had that solo shot, RBI to run. Mustakas one for four in the game. In the game, also had a double and also driven in a run there. As that is your ball game here. Now we'll go ahead and go to the second game here, and we're going to look at a uh, critical situation here. Uh, we have top of the ninth here, one out here. Royals have two runners on board here. Gordon at first, uh, Frederick. Uh, Francisco Pena at second, and Marquecas has now got a single, a double, and a triple. And now he is trying to see if he can get the cycle here with a home run. So two on here. It's a six to three ball game here. Royals lead this one here. Top half of the ninth here. We'll see what Marquecas can do as uh, we're at a player lock with him. This one is high and deep right at the warning track, but unfortunately that's going to be short there, and he will not be able to get the uh, – uh, cycle here today so another another day for another opportunity there for him to get the cycle but had a great game there four for five in the game as the Royals will go ahead and win this one here nice job there Shipley picks up another nice victory there for him as I've uh, been having a lot of fun um, playing as him but we'll see the Royals win this one six to three 20 hits there for the Royals wow what a day there for them uh, but uh, Tampa Bay, uh, three runs, six hits there for him. Take a look at the box score there. And a tough day. They re changed the order up there today. Gordon was start lead off there. He was over five, so not a great day there for him. Marquez, like I said, three for five in the game. Uh, Hosmer, three for uh, three for six in the game. He had two RBIs and a strikeout there on him. Uh, as for Moose, two for four in the day. He had an RBI for himself. As uh, we'll just go ahead and take a look, see at uh, Tampa Bay, and not a good day there for the two leadoff guys there, Jennings and Russell, going both over four in the ball game. Davis one for four, uh, and we'll take a look at the pitching here. Six innings of work, six hits, three runs, uh, three three earned runs there from uh, Shipley. One it looks like three strikeouts, one walk there for him. Uh, so a pretty decent day, not the best. But he does get the win. And we'll go to another player lockout or uh, milestone here. As we'll take a look here. We'll go to the bottom of the ninth. We'll take a quick look at this here. And let's see what we can do. He has Chris Davis up the bat here. 0 for 3 in this one. And we're trying to see if we can try to pick up this victory here. And try to maybe get a sweep out of this here. So Rosalie this one. 3 nothing. As uh, looks like uh, Hernandez is still out here to pitch. Trying to get the complete game here for himself there. And that is going to be out number one there. Uh, especially against a tough batter like Chris Davis there. So one away there. And it's looking like Peralta's uh, uh, looking like he's playing second base here today. It's Evan Gregoria, 0 for 3. He's having a tough series here so far. As see a 2-2 count. 
See what the batter can do here with one out. And that one's going to get skied out there. Center field is going to track that one down there. Nice job. And that is two away. As Marquecas. Oh, we're doing a big switch today. Yeah, Marquecas out there at uh, center field here today. Uh, normally, we'd be we'd probably be Gordon out there today. But I guess he had a day off or whatnot. But we'll see Matt Joyce now. One for three. And we'll see what he can do here for his Tampa Bay Rays. See if he can keep them alive and keep this inning uh, going here for them. As we'll see a 2-1-2 count here. Ground ball. They put that shift on him. And they go ahead and get him out. And right there, that is your ball game as the Royals win this one here. Another shutout here. Two shutouts. Uh, game one and game three here in this series. And of course, winning big. Uh, win, winning big. Uh, in, uh, or winning by three here uh, in game two. So all three games they won by three runs. So not much, uh, really to, don't have to do too much effort there to get those three wins against these Rays, but they do get the win. And they are able to sweep out the Rays out of their own building here in today's episode as they win all three games. So three, game, uh, three runs, seven hits there for the Royals. No runs, five hits for the Rays as Hernandez picks up his... Uh, nice victory there for himself here. I believe it's his sixth victory for the season. As he does get the complete, complete game there. Take a look at the numbers there in the box score. Two for five there for Infante. Lynn one for five. Uh, what else? Mustak is one for five with two with two strikeouts and RBI for him. Hosmer still struggling there. One strikeout, one and four uh, for the at the plate. And uh, Prolta there 0 for three there for him. Tough day for him as take a look at Tampa Bay and their numbers and uh, not a good day there for them especially being shut out again for the second time in the series so uh, we'll see here uh, look at Hernandez numbers there nine innings of work five hits no runs no earned runs one walk but 11 strikeouts there as his ERA now at a buck 13 so coming up in the next episode I believe we will be uh, I think we're going to skip the uh, I'm not for sure. I think we're going to skip that series with uh, Detroit. I think we're going to move on to the Colorado there series. So um, I, I'm not for sure. I, you guys will, you guys will find out here in the next episode. But uh, we got a homestand coming up either way. And uh, it's either going to be against uh, Detroit or uh, Colorado there coming up in the next episode. So stay tuned for that. That's it for the Royals franchise here today. Hope you guys uh, had a great day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please leave a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and be a part of the ESGN Nation. Hit that bell notification so you guys be notified when this series or any other series on the channel is uploaded. And so you guys be the first ones to see it. Not to mention, don't forget to follow us on social media, on Facebook, Twitter, and Discord for latest news and events on what's going on here on the channel and what's going on in the world of sports gaming in general. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time.